The purpose of this exercise is to strengthen your feet and legs, improve your core stability, and learn to dissociate your hips from your pelvis. It breaks down some of the key principles of walking and running in a slow and exaggerated manner. You will learn to stay over top of your feet as your leg pushes you forward, a movement that many people have trouble with. If you haven't already worked on the one leg stand with hip flexion exercise, then please go back and start there. It is the building block of this exercise. You will need at least 10 feet of clear walking space to work on this exercise properly, and it is best to do it in bare feet or in a pair of minimalist shoes like the Vibram Five Fingers or the Merrill Glove. Start by lightly grabbing the ground with one foot and lifting the opposite knee forward and up so that your hip flexes to 90 degrees. The leg that remains on the ground should work to straighten the knee and lengthen through the hip flexor area. This should create tension in the glutes and length through the leg. If you do it right, you will be an easy stick man to draw with straight lines and 90 degree angles. Pause in the stick man position for about 2 seconds. Then imagine I skewered you through the ankle. Allow your whole body as one unit to lean forward from the ankle as you take the next step. Try to use your hamstrings, butt, and abs to control the movement as you move forward and step onto the other foot. Don't allow your knee to bend or your body to lean backward as you move forward. Commit your head and upper body to moving forward and staying in front and over top of your feet. Repeat this movement alternating left and right as you walk across the room. Think about what different parts of your body are doing as you attempt this movement. Is your knee bending as you flex the other hip? Are your hips swaying forward and your trunk staying backward as you move forward? Are you hyperextending your knee and your back as you move? Try to control this movement with your foot, the back of your leg, and your stomach muscles. A mirror can be very useful feedback to help you see what you may not feel. This forward lean is an integral part of proper walking and running form. Practice this exercise for one to two minutes. Then go for a walk and think about staying in front of your feet and learn to push yourself forward instead of pulling yourself along. Progressions to this exercise involve one leg jumping and the acceleration phase of running and sprinting. Master this one, then look for the progressions.